Hey guys, welcome back. So, over the past few weeks, I told you guys to pay close attention to the things that I'm going to say for the upcoming days. Well, weeks actually. Starting from the 20th of March. Today is the 16th of April. So, first of all, let me introduce our new hero. It is Down You Go. Down underscore you underscore go. Not in any clan. Playing one of, in my opinion, greatest fun tanks to play. Because sometimes they, 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 weird things happen in this tank. It gets a lot of Amorax. A lot of Amorax for some reason. I'm talking about none other than the Charmele 75. The new tier 7, I believe it's a premium vehicle, not a, not a reward vehicle. I believe, I could be wrong. This is a 6 shot auto loader with um, a weird mechanic of aiming. But the thing is, when this thing shoots, it shoots 3 shots at once. So that's why when it shoots you at close range, it has a high chance of causing an Amorak. Anyway. So, I realized that I ha it's the, it was the correct moment, the, the right time, to mention this because I forgot one of my Coca-Colas in the freezer, as you can see. And then I remembered, hmm, I'm going to tell my viewers, look, we're all human, we all forget, but let me try and refresh your memory. Before the 20th, I mentioned that over the coming weeks... I'm going to say a few things, and I want to see if you guys remember these things. Because I'm going to ask you about these things when I start... There you go. Three shots. Uh, I think all three hit. I think. So, when I'm going to start streaming live, I'm going to ask you guys, and for those who are going to get the answers, the more answers that you get correct, the bigger the prizes you're going to get. When I'm going to start streaming at some point when I feel comfortable. But I have to create... Well, I've already created my channel, but I don't know how to run it. I've never done it before, so I'm probably going to suck at the beginning. <laughs> so, but here's a question. And this Coca-Cola, which I had forgotten in the freezer, reminded me to ask you guys this question. How many of you noticed over the past few weeks that... Certain videos were pre-recorded. How many? Let me know in the comments below. Because I want to get to doing commentary on the, v on the battle itself. And for all those who are going to guess right, well, the best guesses, you're going to enter a raffle. So leave your guess, your username in the game, and on which server you play. Leave him in the comments below. And with that, having said that, let's get into the battle. His team is losing by 5,500 HP, but they're winning by two tanks. Okay. Let me have a sip of, a sip of Coke. Coca-Cola, not the, not the white stuff. The black stuff. Oh, it is nice and freezing. Basically, I did the classic trick because... This was half empty when I forgot it in the freezer, so I opened it and I, I poured another Coca-Cola, which was kind of cold. And now it is, woo, it is fantastic. It's a very good trick. So, let's see, what is he doing? He's aiming at, oh la la, oh la la. Oh man, that poor Tiger Mouse got punished real bad. Ooh, and he set him on fire, and he tracked him. Malaga, tu ramse oti, que Holy shit. He spots the Char Futur. Some people are not going to like what I'm going to say. But although I like the Char Futur, I prefer the Charmele. It's a, it's a personal preference. Most people prefer the Char Futur. Okay, kudos to you. No problem. I prefer the Charmele. I find it more fun to play. Of course, the Char Futur is a four-shot auto-loader, and it punishes you with uh, average 350 damage per shot, if I remember correctly. With a four-second intro clip. 
which is kind of eh, eh. Four seconds for an auto loader is a little bit horrible. This one, it almost never hits, but when it hits, ay ay ay. You, I mean, you saw what happened to the Tiger Mouse, and later on to the um to the object. So now they're a bit more balanced. They're only losing by one tank, seven eight. The score is seven eight, and they're only down by three hundred and fifty HP. Well, it's jumping. It keeps jumping, but it's only natural. Oh, now they're losing by two tanks. Not starting to look a little bit ugly. Starting to get a little bit ugly. He's begging someone to shoot that sharp tool or this. Guy. Oh la la! Oh la la! There goes the suck the bullet. He really sucked the bullet on this one. Auto aims and he takes him out. Bye bye. Bye bye. Very good job, my friend. Very good. And this thing has a very long reload. I do not remember. It must have at least like 30 seconds. At least. Count Panzer 50 gets spotted. 50 TP takes out the object 277. That was very good. Now they're winning by one tank. He's rocking back and forth in order to gain time for the reload. Once the thing reloads, oh my god. You don't want to stand in front of it. This guy's about to die. Right. Unfortunately, when you pull the trigger, you it automatically takes the three shots. There's nothing you can do about that. You can't control it. Well, oh my god, man, look at that. If this thing aims, because it has a mechanic of... Either you move faster but you aim really bad, or you move slower but you aim better. And a good player knows when to switch between these two. Like for example, when you're on a scouting run and you're actively spotting, you're gonna yeah, you're gonna do that. Now he turned into turbo mode, in which you see that thing which is turning? It means that he can run faster, but his aim sucks. Once he approaches the enemy, a little bit before he has to take the shot, he stops, he pushes X, right now, there you go. It's as if I've watched it before. No, I haven't. And now he's slower, but he aims better. Merci, he says merci to the guy. He spots the Wuzi 113 GFT, who is uh, very, very healthy. Full health at 2100. But the Charmley, the Charmley could easily ammo rack you. Easily. But even at full health, you do not want to get hit by one of those. Because it could do massive damage. These Chinese TDs are just. They, they, they are horrible. Horrible in the sense that when they shoot you, they're, they're a nightmare. Crap, this player knows what he's doing. He knows that there's three of them, but he's trying to keep all three of them in one direction. Can he actually go over? No, you can't. Unless he runs. He, if he I mean, if he runs for a couple of meters... Okay, that guy took a shot. He's not going to take the... He's not going to take the second clip. He's going to wait until he goes to the side. Nice. And the third shot... Third shot um, well... Had to get wasted inside the terrain. Now, let us see how he did. Right tab, yes. So, Ace Tanker for doing 4,480 damage, 4 kills. Fire for effect, Fighter for those 4 kills. Sharpshooter, Spotter, for spotting... How much did you spot? 1,444. Well, spotting is 1,000 plus, so yeah. Bruiser. Now, guys, catch this. 121,754 credits. 10,802 XP. 7 bonds for being in the top 3, in this case... First in damage, first in kills, first in basic speed. 1,426. Mwah! Bellissima. How did the enemy team do? Let's see. 
object 277 first in damage bz75 and suck the bullet one and the guy who died in the end the woozy who was platooned with the bz75 and they did okay not bad uh we have one two two muppets outer muppets here and well anything below 500 at least you got unlucky but okay whatever let's um see he lost credits hmm not too much 13.3k almost okay cool nice i enjoyed watching this replay and by the way coincidentally i did not do this on purpose this player is from the na server yay you guys are gonna have me for another 10 days i made a mistake of saying one week in my previous video wargaming gave me 14 days not one week my bad anyway down you go when you go against this player his uh, his username is absolutely accurate and having said that let's go watch another game and for contestant number two we have surprise surprise it's another french tank on the na server <laughs> Now, these were the best replays that I found as soon as I opened what record. And now that I'm looking at... Wait, very quickly. What record? Wow, except for one German tank and one British, they're all... They all, all the rest are French. <laughs> but I chose the ones that I really liked. And most of them were French, except for two. So, our hero is Mr... Striker 6662 from the FSH clan. He's playing that little French tiny cockroach with a very badass skin. It's a cute tank because it's, you know, it's tiny. And when it first came out, I thought it was F ELC Elven. What the hell? Elven? I wasn't reading it properly. Brain thinking. Now, there's something strange. There's a secret about this map, which I want to see if you guys are going to notice. It has something to do with the bushes over here. And how you can tell if the enemy tank is coming right at you through the bushes. Does anyone know the secret? If you do, shh, just say I do and uh, give me your uh, thingy your tell me your username also to enter for the raffle and on which server you play and i'm gonna contact you in the game i want to see i want you to confirm if you know the secret about these bushes there's a there's a very very sneaky secret which wargaming has included which could make you a far better player and give you the heads up if an enemy tank is coming at you through the bushes before even hearing the tank Especially in this location. It's a very tiny detail. Very, very tiny. But if you pay attention, you're like, ah, oh, there he is. There's the enemy tank. He's coming right at me. There is no one in front of him. I can guarantee that. Even though this is the first time I watch it, because I do not pre-watch my videos. I don't. There's no one. The enemy ELC even 90. Not because he was. he's been spotted at... Uh, 1e uh, not because of that no 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 that's not the reason but i knew that the enemy elc did not come here approximately 30 seconds ago probably a little bit more because of that tiny little detail now i think that this guy the e75 uh, no no i thought it was perma spotted no my bad my bad so Let's go the T. Go the T twenty seven. Yes, I pushed out there. You see, I'm pushing out. Look, look at the bottom right of the screen. When you push out and the tanks are on the far right, their name comes on the left. I've mentioned this before. Okay, let's see. Okay, now you're spotted. Yeah, I knew it. I knew he was spotted. Not from the E-75. Not. Someone else spotted him. Someone else who is hiding at H... Um, it's not this guy. 
It wasn't the Scorpion that spotted it. It was someone else. Ooh, ouch. 394 from the artillery. Ouch. Thank God it didn't penetrate. Uh, someone else who was hiding at J8. Around. Let me show you my mouse. Here, J8. Spotted him. I knew it before the sixth cent went off. I knew it. Okay, so they're losing by 4,000 HP, down by three tanks. Not looking too good. The Gonzalo has died, which is uh, a far superior tank compared to that disgusting uh, uh, Cali Caliban. One of the top three worst tanks in the game. Let me see. I mean, they have a Patton, a Caliban, and if this wasn't tiers 8 and 9, they would also have what? A Churchill gun carrier? Which is number one, the first, the, the number one first and worst tank in the game. Super worst. It has good gun depression, but uh, the gun is between the two wheels, so. If you want to use your gun depression, you cannot because you have to go all the way over the over the edge, over the ridge line. So you expose your tank, which has zero armor, shit traverse speed, shit gun handling, very low arcs left and right. Okay, GW Tiger has been spotted. He's dead. Very good. T7 T Skoda T27. Kind of stole the kill. The Caliban actually got a kill. Nice. Mr. Iron Addict. X Iron underscore Addict X. From the Twit clan. T-W-I-T. They're a bunch of twits. <laughs> yeah, if you play the Caliban. <laughs> you must be a member of, the, of that clan. Sorry, just kidding. No. Maybe they're really, they're really nice guys. Okay, I don't know them, so it's unfair to say say something like that. I take that back. Sorry, I apologize. Anyway, uh, hello, Mr. Rivalorise. Now, I had one of the most incredible battles when the Rivalorise first came out years, years ago. And unfortunately, I wasn't recording it. Unfortunately. If I, if I tell you guys what I did in that battle, you're not gonna... My teammates were laughing. The enemy team was laughing. Everyone, everyone was laughing. Everyone. Uh, this was years ago when the Revelator Save first, first came out. I, I bought it because, you know, I was a... I'm still a unique tank litter, but I don't fall for wargaming scams anymore. So, let me tell you this very quickly. While our hero is trying to get some spots. I got. I bought the M4A1 Revalorise or Revalorise, whatever. I call it Revalorise. I like. I like Revalorise better than Revalorise. And I entered the first battle, knowing that the vehicle has good penetration and decent damage. So I entered the battle, and my team was winning easily. It wasn't exactly a blowout, but we were winning easily. So. I am trying to get some shots in, um, missing, not penetrating, etc, etc. Finally, I outflank some opponents, and I take a shot at one guy, he had like almost 300 HP, but another person shoots him right before me, and he leaves him with 1 HP, and then my shot connects, and I was like, oh, really, we're gaming, 1 HP, whatever. A couple of seconds later, I find a second enemy, and um, yeah, if you haven't guessed it, he was also at 1 HP. I took him out at 1 HP. And then I found a third enemy at 1 HP, a fourth enemy at 1 HP, and a fifth enemy at 1 HP. I received at least... Five messages, five PMs, private messages. A mixture between my team and the enemy team. They were laughing. They were like, dude, what the hell? <laughs> How did you do that? I'm like, me? <laughs> That's core gaming. <laughs> five kills, five damage. <laughs> you guys ever heard that? 
I don't know, maybe I... I uploaded a screenshot of that. Be careful, because that Lorraine 40T might be... Oh, okay. He took out your Charfuture. Okay, you're good. You're good. Let's see. So, the SU is not going to die yet, because it's not his time. He dies at 1.30pm. Right now, it is 12.52. So, he still has 38 minutes to live. <laughs> Game time 38 minutes, which could mean... I don't know. Um, 38 minutes uh, divided by... Uh, 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 maybe... Um, well, not 38 seconds. That would be unfair. But at this rate, yeah. It's probably going to be 38 seconds. Ah, come on, Wargaming. Come on. 665 damage! <laughs> Almost a Satan. <laughs> It was like lol 3 HP. Yeah. Lol 3 HP. Exactly, 3 HP. The SU is going to go and fight uh, the worst reward tank in the game. The worst. The pattern. He's going to shoot. He's going to hit him for 552. The pattern tank is going to shoot back. He's going to miss, of course, because it's a pattern tank. With the worst gun handling and worst everything. With a huge cupola. And he's got taken out by the BZ-68. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Let's see how this guy did. Where are we? We are right here. Mm, let me check something. Okay, we're on the right page. ELC, even 90, Ghost Town, 3 kills, Tank Sniper, MC1. Uh, Mastery Class 1. Yeah, that's what it was. I almost had a brain thingy there. Let's see. A Master Gunner, yeah, very good. Fire for Effect, Bruiser. 156.7 thousand credits. 14.5 thousand XP, very nice. And 30 bombs. 30 bombs with a tier 8. Very, very nice. Let's see, how did he do? He comes out second in damage, bested only by the other French tank on the NA server. You guys are going to think that I'm doing this on purpose. No. <laughs> uh, tied with both the Charfuture and the Caliban. The Caliban got three kills. Very good job. Not bad. And second best in XP. And good job for the Charfuture 4. How did the enemy team do? Uh, the Lorraine did okay. The Cobra did the best damage. SU comes second. And the Kampfazer 50 comes third. Nice, very, very, very nice. And this guy must have made credits. Come on, this is a premium tank. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, nice. Wow, you only spent less than 9,000. Well, uh, barely above, a little bit above 9,000 on both credits and repair vehicle. Now that is what I call credits. 147.3 thousand credits. Mwah, bellissima. Buddy, I really enjoyed this replay, and I hope that you enjoy it too. Of course, I'm going to contact these guys. I always do that, especially when they are new and they don't know that I'm featuring their, their, their games. I'm the one who chose these games. And having said that, don't forget to write your username on which server, and if you've noticed or if you know the trick that I'm talking about on this map, the, ones that you the one that you just witnessed. And having said that, you guys are an awesome community, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.